You are live. We are. Am I live? Oh my god. <laughs> Am I live is back. And we are here to talk about uh, how to make your nutrition sustainable, your nutrition and fitness sustainable, um, realistic, and achievable. So, Brad, what is new with you? Um, I, if you guys notice, I'm broadcasting from a different office. My audio quality is different if you're just listening to the podcast because they are digging up the water main to my neighbor's house, which runs two feet outside my office wall. Um, so there's excavators and jackhammers going off, which is awesome. Um, that's new. What else is new since yesterday? I don't know. You should have gone on and yelled at him and be like, do you know what podcast is being recorded right now? Do you know who I am? Oh, Brad froze. Look at what a good pose too to freeze at. I like it a lot. Maybe the lowest quality episode in a while. Are you here, Brad? I am here. Okay. <laughs> How much of that did you get? All we got was this is a low quality episode. And he froze again. Maybe we will have to just do a one man show and change some of these topics because I don't think Brad's gonna Brad's gonna make it today. <sighs> That's unfortunate. You should have just gone out there and, you know, thrown, picked up their jackhammer and thrown it over your head and been like, I'm Brad Dieter. That's what I would have done. I could have done that. All right. Well, while we kind of have you here, let's jump into our first topic. And that is something that it. I know nothing about. So if you, except for conspiracy theories about people stealing your identity and mapping your, the government stealing, who tracking you. So we will jump into it and hopefully Brad doesn't leave because it will take a really quick, weird, awkward turn real fast. Um, so <laughs> our first topic is nutrigenomics, right? Nutrigenomics. Did I say that right? Brad froze too already. He already froze. This is going to be awful. I think maybe we should just, are you there? Yeah. I said, I'm right? back. Nutrigenomics. Yeah. Nu Nutrigenomics. Nutrigenomics. No mix. Nutrigenomics. Yes. So this is essentially DNA testing to tell you what you should eat and how you should train for based on your DNA. That is exactly what it's marketed as being. So that's what it is, right? Uh, sort of. Okay. So it is. So it so let's answer the first question. Is it a ploy for the government to get your DNA in a database? That's the most important one. I mean, I would say that there may be some kernel of truth to aspects of that. Yeah. I would say less about government and more about. <sighs> he locked up again. Let's see if he comes back. This is going to be awkward all day. Brad, do you know, I think you can still hear me. Do you know who owns the most DNA samples in the United States of America? You br you broke up. I think you said twenty three and me. <laughs> this is such a disaster. I, yeah, I don't think this one's gonna work. I think you have to stick it home there, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. So, but the answer is is the Mormon Church owns the most DNA samples. Really? Yeah, because they own Ancestry dot com. You'd be locked up again, so I couldn't see your awesome reaction. But yes, Ancestry.com, all your all your mapping that has been done is owned by the uh, the Mormon Church. Um, let me see what I can do about this connection, because this is ridiculous. Okay, we'll take this off. While Brad's doing that, let's talk about some other things. So for anybody who is watching on... Uh, who is watching this, we have a couple options to watch now. We have a YouTube channel. So if you go to macrosinc.net, I'm going to hide Brad here. You can go to macrosinc.net slash YouTube, watch us on YouTube. We are actually currently running a um, a charity donation. If we get to 100,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube by the end of the year, we're going to donate $10,000 to the Alzheimer's Research Foundation. Um, so get on there, macrosinc.net slash YouTube. Click that little subscribe thing. And then we will be rolling. We also have a podcast. We were just, we're uh, a newer podcast. So we're going up and down the rankings pretty fast. Um, we've been moving all around. But earlier this week, we were number six in nutrition, then number 10, then number eight. And I think this morning we were number 12. We were featured in the new podcast section. So if you're listening on the podcast, that is fantastic. Welcome. Sorry that's video based. We do our best to make sure that you can uh, see all of Brad's awesome reactions, who I think can come back. Oops, nope, I hit the wrong button. Um, so let's see, Brad, are you back? Solo, why am I not? Why is Brad? Brad's just gone. He is completely locked up and disappeared. 
where, how do I do this? All right. So um, we have our podcast, macrosync.net uh, slash podcast, and you can go right on in to the podcast. What the heck is going on here? You can go right into the podcast. Uh, we are on iTunes, Stitcher. Um, I don't even know what else we can add it. We're, we're in. Um, a Google podcast, every podcast system you can imagine, we are there. Uh, go on in, listen to them. The shows are uploaded about five days after they broadcast live. Uh, we are working on some some giveaways and things like that where we will. Um, uh, we are working on some giveaways and things like that where we will be uh, uh, giving away free free things like shirts hoodies, probably some coaching um, to people watching live. And then we will also, we're trying to work out a way to also get some free stuff for the podcast people out there as well. Um, so Brad just texted me and said, this is messed up. Sorry, it's never been a problem before. So I don't know if he'll be rejoining us. Um, so in that case, we will come to these topics on tomorrow's episode. But let's see if we get some questions. A shilling Taco Bell down as I tune in. Macros Inc. or my live class is tough. No, it's always Macros Inc. That's where it should be. So, guys, let's go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We're going to switch the topics up a little bit here and wait for see if Brad can come back in, or we'll hit these ones up tomorrow. So let's make this kind of a general Q&A. This one will probably not be in the podcast then, um, and we'll probably remove it from most of our services. So, But while I'm here, ask some questions. Let's see. We have, um, if anybody is interested in coaching, we have macrosync.net slash coaching and you or macrosync.net slash services or macrosync.net two week free trial. Sign on up. You can work with any one of our wonderful 30 coaches. Uh, we have some comments here. Rachel says, Hey guys, so we're going to see Jade rocking these jean shorts. Can't break promises on the macros Inc. fam. So I promise to wear some jorts um, and the only crappy jeans that I was permitted in my house to cut would be permitted to cut up uh, were ones that I am re required to use for horse riding. Um, so that's a no-go for now. But but I am it's, it's pool season and I'm working on Daisy Dukes for the pool. So we'll see if we can get that out. Um, so what is, Stephanie wants to know, what is the best cereal? Um, that's a hard question. The best cereal I think of all times is cinnamon toast crunch. Um, but my favorite cereal currently is either cornflakes or, um, special K with Splenda. I think that is the best cereal. I I'm a very basic eater though. We've discussed candy cereal deserves to stay. What's everybody's favorite cereal? Let's see. Let's see if anybody can come up with some good. I recently had the fruity pebbles with marshmallows. The macros on it's not a macro friendly meal. Um, so I would not recommend it. It's not that good. It, it's fruit, fruit, a uh, fruit loops with marshmallows. That's what it was. Fruit loops, with marshmallows, regular fruit loops are way better. Um, guys. So if we don't have any questions, we're going to kick off because I don't know where Brad is and we can't talk about our discussions. Never happened before in uh, we, we've done a, a lot of these, over 100, I think, so far, and we've never had an issue like this. So you guys are witnessing history in the making. A um, couple comments coming in. Post Oreo cereal for the win. Oreo cereal, that sounds awesome, but it doesn't sound great late night. That sounds like a bad drunk decision I would make. Like, come drink until like 2 in the morning and be like, give me some cereal. I want Oreos. And I want it in cereal. I need it in a bowl. I would just pour the Oreos in and eat it. Um, anybody else? If we, if you can tell, I have a rocket ship back there. I have a police department that's been converted into uh, mission control. Um, it's quite the Lego scene back there. Did we ever set up the cookie debate? I don't remember what the cookie debate was, uh, Stephanie. I do not remember. Um, I'm not a big cookie person, so I'm not the person to answer that. I think that was an Alex Dedman thing. He was running our group. So if you're not in our Facebook group, macrosync.net slash free group, it's a 160,000 person Facebook group. Those of you who are watching this live are probably already in there, but people watching the recording or on YouTube or on the podcast might not know. Um, I would definitely get in on that. Uh, Julie said s'mores. S'more cereal sounds pretty good. Dante on YouTube said, uh, today I saw a post by, uh, by 
was it Bill Campbell or Phil Campbell? I know Bill Campbell. Um, on Inst- it was a post on Instagram about glycogen and muscles not being depleted overnight. Um, I would need to look more in context at the study, but that is that may it makes sense. I don't know if it's an old one or no new one or old one. Uh, Stephanie said, "What's my favorite cookie? I don't have a favorite cookie. I don't really like cookies. Um, if I, if I have to pick one, it would be raw cookie dough. That would be chocolate chip raw cookie dough would be my favorite cookie." Uh, Stephanie is saying unequivocally chocolate chip, warm, fresh baked. I don't like warm food. So you're, you're out. Yeah. I don't like warm food. Really. It's the only thing warm. The only thing that should be eaten warm are French fries. Yeah, that's it. Um, anybody else have any questions? Cause Brad does not know how to use the internet. He has all that schooling and has no idea what he's doing. Um, I can barely, you know, I can't even use a razor, so I'm not, not want to talk, but you know, Brad doesn't know how to use a computer. Let's just all remember that for future reference. Uh, Because I know he's watching and he's shaking his head and he's probably swearing because when Brad gets mad, he swears and it's funny because it's awkward when Brad swears. Somebody's this uh, anonymous Facebook user posted from our group said, I'm playing the Powerball tonight. So fingers crossed I win, even though that's totally off topic, but of what you're talking about. So we, we don't have a topic today. The topic got killed because Brad's gone. I don't even, we're talking about DNA testing. We need the PhD here. Um, and, and he's gone. We're not talking about creatine. We're not talking about some, some that I can talk about. We're talking about something that actually needed Brad and I will get off in a, don't let people file your DNA rant um yeah i would i would like to win the powerball too um that would that would be be amazing yeah it was bill campbell you were talking about dante perfect stephanie just sent a laughing face emoji um anybody have any other questions if i don't have i'm gonna get off of here in three minutes three minutes that gives us a 15 minute live and i am done uh and then we will be back tomorrow and we will do this all over again with the same exact topic so if you missed it today if, you, if you're watching this on the replay in the group or somewhere and you didn't get these topics, we'll be here tomorrow. If you're on YouTube, you can come on in. You have time to join the group. Um, and we'll we'll start this all over. So you guys are lucky. We'll, I think me, Brad and I should be wearing the exact same clothes, like exact same everything. So it, it just, you know, looks smooth. Uh, Gavin McCarran. I know Gavin. I went to paramedic school with Gavin's brother, Damien. Um Gavin said, what's up, Jay? What is your favorite post-workout meal? Ooh, so if I am, my favorite post-workout, my most of the time I just have a shake, um, but if I'm actually having a meal, my favorite meal for anything, um, pre-workout or post-workout, is a sandwich. Just to uh, either a, I used to do when I was younger and didn't get heartburn, I would do a, a foot long after I'd eat, I'd go right to Subway get a foot long sandwich, a foot long sub. Um, I don't like mayo or anything. So it was just meat, vegetables, and bread. And I'd house that down um, for carbs. Otherwise, um, just a, a, a simple sandwich with, you know, deli meat, um, mustard, maybe some vegetables on it and, uh, and bread. Um, I'm a big, I'm a big carb person. I get real shaky, uh, especially if I'm lifting real heavy afterwards. And I know Gavin, you're a pretty big endurance athlete. So I imagine your favorite intra uh, pre intra and post workout are all, uh, around the same, but I definitely make sure that I get in, uh, the, about, about 40 grams of protein within an hour of working out. Um, it's not, my muscles aren't going to fall off if I don't, but it's just, it, it, it's the most optimal time for me to get in. That's probably the most essential for most people. If you are like Gavin an endurance athlete, you might want to get some protein in during your workout, um, or halfway through, um, or at least prior to and post workout. So guys, Brad's been gone. He doesn't know how to use the internet. He has like 17,000 degrees, 400 letters after his last name, and he couldn't figure out how to use Wi-Fi. Um, hey, does anybody know what Wi-Fi stands for? Um, and th- we'll see if anybody can get that one. It's not wireless frequency. Leanne said, I have been having firehouse subs after my workouts late, after my workouts lately. Love sandwiches. I've never been to a firehouse subs. Um, I have a I just can't go to a place called Firehouse after being a firefighter. I don't know why, but they look good. Um, but subs after your workouts, I think, are great. It's especially if you, you know, they have uh, depending on the meat you go with, a uh, little bit of fat, um, lower fat, higher carb, and moderate protein, and you can't go wrong. So if anybody doesn't know, we'll come back tomorrow, and somebody has to tell me what Wi-Fi stands for, if you can get it. All right, guys. I've been in a Jersey Mike's kit lately. So I was at, 
I was traveling to do a lecture in, I can't remember where it was. It was in Philadelphia. I was flying somewhere with Macros Inc. to go do a lecture. And they, the only thing in the, uh, the only thing in the airport that didn't have a huge line, there were a bunch of cancellations. The only thing they have that didn't have like the longest line was a Jersey Mike's because it like just opened up. I'd never been to Jersey Mike's, went there, got that, got ordered my sub. I didn't realize that they, they basically soak it in oil and it was, and then I just, they wrapped it up. I took it on my plane because I was on a change of a uh, flight change and got on the plane and the poor guy next to me, I think that he had more oil on him than I got in my stomach. It was an absolute nightmare. I've been in all <laughs> that said, I've been in Jersey Mike's kick. Ah, correct it. Dante said, RIP Brad, Brad, if you're watching, we miss you. All right, guys. Um, I apologize for this. We kind of messed up today uh, with some tech issues. We will be back. I get it without the oil. Yeah, I didn't. I would have gotten it without. Um, I would have gotten it without oil. I just didn't know they put oil on it like that. I was used to Subway where they ask you everything. Dante said the wire, the standard for wireless fidelity. Nope. That is not what it stands for. Good guess, though. Um, this is I like little random trivia facts. So. Um, yeah, we will be back tomorrow talking about the same topics because we had some tech issues today. First time it's happened in a couple in like a hundred episodes. So we will be back. Um, we will go over these topics tomorrow. So if you did not get, if you were looking forward to our discussion on DNA mapping for your nutrition, if you're looking forward to talking about delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS, or I don't even remember what our third topic we were going to talk about was. Oh, we were also going to talk about active rest day ideas. So if you want to talk about any of those, join us tomorrow. We will be here. Um, and that will be about it. All right, guys. Sorry about the problems. Have a good one. But how do I end this? Oh, no. I'm not even going to play the outro. I'm just going to end. All right. I'm a rebel. Take care.